Hey, how are you guys doing today? So I want to try something a little different today. So I decided to take a look at the Tokimeki Runners, which is the first set for Nichigaku as the one you see for the Tokimeki Runners, but they are all super rares in the Love Life Squad Festival All-Stars game. And a lot of times when you look at outfits, a lot of people like to compare and say who has the best one. So I want to see and kind of maybe potentially create a series if you guys like it, where we get to compare all the outfits in Tokimeki Runners. So of course there is nine. Shigeriko does not have a Tokimeki Runners outfit kind of it is her first super rare but that is more for just to believe so we can get to that later but i'm gonna go ahead and go over my rankings from what, one through nine nine being the least favorite then in the poll at the end i'll talk about how you guys can vote for your favorites for this set so of course you can acquire this in love as well as all stars and equip it so i'll go ahead and show you the images as well as the outfits and explain why i feel a certain way and you guys can vote and if you guys like this kind of stuff we can absolutely do more I'll probably be focusing more on the ones that are more unique because a lot of songs technically have very similar versions. Most songs will have three slightly different variants for each song. So I'll probably stay away from those. So we can do things like the animal outfits or maybe the cheerleader sets depending on which one is more unique as well as events. But the events will only have a smaller amounts so maybe I'll cluster them. Well. We'll have to see and let me know what I can do to change this in the future and make it more interesting. So the main factor for me voting one higher than the other is mainly if I like it, it's not because, oh, it's a set an outfit, therefore good, but rather if I like it, I'm not going to be looking at the art in the background. This is strictly focusing on the outfit itself. So while I'm showing the art and that's just there because it looks nice, I will not be taking that into account because that is not necessarily important when we're talking about the actual outfit itself. So let's go ahead and go over my rankings for this set. So you'll see this trend happening with certain outfits and if they tend to be more revealing I am not as a f much as a fan of them. So outfits like this one as well as you might see like Devil Nico and stuff I'm just not a fan of it because they're just a bit too revealing and I just prefer if they had a little bit more covered up. So I'm just not a fan of when Lola does this. I do like the coloring, the hat's kind of nice, and kind of like the little white dots on here, are pretty, or yellow I guess, are pretty interesting, but overall, just not a big fan of it. And similarly for 8, we have Aimee Shita. I, don't, I like hers a little bit more because she has something special going off to her side, and having the flowers is kind of nice, but again, I'm still not a big fan of it being very revealing overall in the outfits here. So these two are definitely the least favorite in my opinion because I wish they wouldn't be exposing as much. In 7th place, I put Emma Verde's outfit, and this one's definitely a little bit more akin to her traditional style, especially when you think about her song is Evergreen that she sings here. So it's definitely more appealing to that nature-loving self, and this is probably something you would ex expect from someone who's from Switzerland. So I think that's really great to have. And all overall, I do like the patterns on here. I don't know if I'd call this super interesting, especially for an idol, but I think it's very fitting, and it's a nice one. Next up I have Kasumi, and I know a lot of people don't tend to like this one, but I don't know, I find this one a little one cute, I like the beret on her head, I just think it's a nice fit for Kasumi, and I know it's not the most crazy one out there as well, but for some odd reason, I do have a bit of a liking towards this one. Now we have Rina's, and I don't know, it, it feels a little childish, but I guess that's kind of fitting for Rina. And the fact that I guess she has this kind of cat theme going, especially with the tail in the back, pretty interesting. And I, I like the black and white contrast, with especially with the pink, which it just feels very fitting for Rena's image overall. And while I do find it a bit childish, I do think it matches hers very well. So honestly, I do like it and I feel that it's relatively suitable for Rena. For Kanata, we have this kind of light purple with darker purple and white and I think the purple is just a really nice contrast. It almost kind of makes you feel like you're in a dreamy kind of state here. And overall I think this is a nice outfit for her. I don't know why I like it this much to be honest. I feel like the skirt's a bit too short for me but honestly I do, I do like this outfit. So Shizuku has a very nice simple and elegant dress. I really like the blue coloring. I I like the color blue and the fact that it has a kind of like gold trim around here and there I think it's just a really nice match for Shizuku. It's very fitting. It's very gentle. I don't think it's the most eye-catching thing out there but it's a very simple nice one that I don't know if I guess it was a girl I guess I'll probably wear it. Here we have Ayumu's and it's a nice 
pinky kind of outfit, which it does kind of go with her kind of that gentle almost image that Ayumi has. It's kind of bright and optimistic like her. She has a really big rib in the back, which I think it's a bit too big. But overall, I think it has kind of that girly feeling that she's going for, and it's just really bright. Overall, I just find it very eye-catching and appropriate for Ayumu, and I like it, to be honest. And in first place, we have Setsuna Yuki. Obviously, you know, I've, I've been using this outfit for All Stars for the longest time, and it's definitely a really nice outfit. I just think this just fits Setsuna so well with her right personality, and it's just awesome when you go and perform chase and with that outfit on it just very fitting it it's got kind of that kind of classy kind of feel with her outfit but it's also got that style that a lot of idols have and i like i really like that ribbon on the side here it just feels so cool and stylish and i just this is kind of reason why i do like that so much is because that her outfits really pop and are really attractive here and i i don't know why but i I really like when some of the idols just have that kind of small hat on the top. Generally, you just clip that on when you as a hairpin or something. But I, I just find it really cute and fun. And, you know, that's just another reason why I like it so much. So, it's very likely that you do not agree with my opinions here. And, of course, that's fine. That's why I do so many polls. So, first and foremost, I have Google Sheet where I'm going to keep track of all of the outfits and keep them all trying together I'll group up my tabs for each group so I have an Ichigaku one with all the outfits I'm not necessarily going to do each one because some are too similar and probably not some are splash either but yeah that's the idea is to have them all eventually or a decent amount done so they're all just here and I'll keep them grouped here but more importantly here is the poll it's pretty much like any other poll that I have and you can go ahead and vote 1 through 9, 1 being your favorite, 9 being your least favorite. Enter in your demographics if you wish to have that. And I also give you guys references. The link to that will be in the description below. So let me know what you guys think about this in comments below. If you're interested in this kind of stuff, I'll happily do more of these things. If so, which one set are you looking for me to do? It could be Nijigaku, it could be Muse and Aquas. Of course, I would love to add those to the mix here. But right now, let me know what you think about this idea in general and as well as what you think is the best outfit in the Tokimeki Runner set. Let me know in the comments below what you think and maybe we'll do something like this soon in the future. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to catch you guys in another video soon.